Regardless of how they feel about their former governor, many Alaskans seem to think the release of thousands of pages of Sarah Palin's emails and the media attention surrounding it is a waste of time and resources. It's just um, a distraction, and um, we're we're glad that she's not here anymore. Um, our state is running better, and we do, we don't need all the drama. I personally think that they're afraid of her. That they're digging up a lot of stuff. Some of it true. I won't deny that, but I think they are afraid of her for the election. Still, the emails do give a glimpse into Palin's day-to-day -day governing of the state while trying to cope with the pressure of her rise to the national political stage. I noticed one reporter on one network was saying that he uh, was surprised that so many of these emails showed her being gubernatorial, uh, that uh, she was doing kind of contrary to what her image became uh, later on and actually acting like a governor. Some say the more newsworthy information may eventually come from legal challenges to the redacted portions of the emails. What has been released is a disappointing first act, you might say, because there's uh, very little in it. I'm confident that the administration is protecting her, that is the state administration, is protecting her far more than... Uh, uh, then the courts will protect her. So I think we are going to see some other stuff. The email release comes as speculation continues as to whether Palin will run for president next year. My guess is, and I think most people up here believe she will be a presidential candidate, it kind of like if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it may be a duck. Uh, very few people to promote their books by going on bus tours of states that just happen to have presidential primaries. The whole email episode may provide some guidance to politicians in the future. When somebody sends you an email, instead of replying, you say, why don't you come over and have a chat with me or give me a call on the phone. <laughs> Haven Daily, Associated Press, Anchorage, Alaska.